Dimensioning angles. We have two different ways of dimensioning angles. The first way is coordinate dimensioning, and this is coordinate dimensioning. Essentially, we're measuring to the corner of the angle, and then we have the overalls. So measuring to the corner, and actually this is a preferred method by, say, fabricators, because it's very easy to use a tape measure to, to measure and then draw a line across to cut this corner off. We also have angular dimensioning. Now angular dimensioning is uh, a little bit different in which we declare the actual uh, angle of the measurement. We have two ways of doing it. We can use the dim command or the dim angler. First, let's go up and use a dim angler. So I'm going to go up and hit the down arrow and go to dim angler. It's going to ask me to select the arc, circle, or line. I'm going to pick this line. Now it's going to ask me to pick a second line. I'll pick this second line. Now, when I move my mouse, I will get four different angles that I could measure. All right, I want to measure this angle here, this 30 degree angle. I always, as a rule, place the measurement or the dimension line, or I'm specifying a dimension line, outside of the jaws of the angle. So I'm going to pick out here and I get 30 degrees. So I'll do that again. I'm going to come up and I could do that in the home tab too, by the way, and come over here to my dim angler command. I pick on one line, I pick on the other, I drag it out and place the dimension line location outside the angle of the jaws, outside the jaws of the angle. All right. So another method, another method is to use the dim command. I'm going to go up and choose the dim command and I'm going to come down and choose angular. So now I'm going to pick on one line, I pick on the other line, I place the dimension line location and I get 45 degrees. Okay. And I'll do the same over here. All right. I'm going to go into my annotate tab. I'm going to use the dim command. I'm going to choose the angular option. I'll pick on one line. I'll pick on the other line. I move it around. I figure out which angle I want. I want it at the 30 degree angle. I want it outside of the jaws of the angle. And I have 30 degrees. I can enter or escape to finish the command and the dim command. And I just dimension angles with it using the angular method, angular dimensioning method.